In this video, I'm going to show you how to access your chemistry pre-lab, how to download it, fill it out, um, and save it to your Dropbox so that your teacher can receive it electronically. So the first thing you want to do is get to the Sky Chemistry Labs webpage. Um, the address should be provided by your teacher. And click on, in this case, Fall Semester. That's going to pull up a page of all the labs that we're going to be doing throughout the semester. We'll start with lab number one. When you open up the page that is about the lab, you're going to see um, a couple paragraphs of information. You should take the time to read it. Um, you have a couple videos that show you different techniques we'll be using in the lab. And you also have some safety and disposal instructions, just so you know what potential hazards to look out for before you walk into lab. Um, at the bottom of the page, you've got a, um, a place where you can download your pre-lab. You can't just view it, you really need to download it. So let's do that now. And this is going to download a PDF, so you're going to need Adobe Reader to access it. Open it up, and it should look something like this. All of the pre-labs, you know, all of the pre-labs are one page in length. They're pretty short, and as long as you've watched the videos and done the reading, it should be very straightforward. So let's start filling it out. Any place there is a blue box, that's a text field, so you can type into it. So we'll type in our name. Um, when we have chemistry, uh, the lab day, so A1, B1, I use B2, why not? And then just start answering the questions. So this says, list five different safety violations you observed in the video and how to address, fix them. Uh, so really just by watching the video, you should be able to answer this. So I'll just put something in there so we can see how to fill it out. It's definitely a violation. I don't know if it's covered in the video. You should watch and see for yourself. And maybe a solution would be, don't do that. Be nice to be your lab partner. There we go. Um, so you'll go through, complete everything, try to get all the blue boxes filled out. That way the lab is complete. We'll assume we've done all that. Uh, the next steps are pretty important, so pay attention. You need to come over here to the right and click on Sign. If your version of Adobe Reader does not have this button, this means that you do not have the most recent up-to-date version. Uh, you can address that by updating Adobe or just installing um, the new version. You can Google Adobe Reader and it will automatically let you find the one that's most recent. I'm going to click on Sign Documents, or just Sign, and it's going to bring up this little menu. What you need to do is place your signature or even place initials. We'll go with Signature. And if you have never entered your signature before, a little window will pop up asking you to type in your name and then select the font that uh, Adobe uses. So I've already done that, so I'm just going to drop my signature and I'll put it over here next to my name. I'm going to then come back to the menu on the right, click on Sign, Proceed to Send. Now we're not really going to send it anywhere, we just need to save a copy of it into our Dropbox. And oh, how convenient, we have a file option to uh, save a copy. Um, if you're using a PC and you've got Windows, uh, you should be able to find Dropbox up here, um, kind of around desktops and downloads. Click on Dropbox. Open up the folder that you are sharing with your chemistry teacher. And then you're going to save the file. It would be really great if you could change the file name. So leave lab1, and then it should be your last name, comma, your first name, dash. Complete or completed. Uh, that way you're telling the teacher, my lab is finished and it's ready to be graded. Um, before we do that, I just want you to notice real quick, all of the text fields are still blue, meaning that we can still type into them. Once you save the file and it's been signed, pull that back up, those blue text fields go away. Now we can no longer make changes to the PDF, so you really don't want to sign and save until you're completely done with your, um, you're done with the pre-lab and it's ready to go. Uh, so that's all you need to do. Once it's saved in your Dropbox folder, Dropbox really does the rest, and your teacher has electronic access to it.